Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Billionaire Mandy, and I'm coming to you with somewhat of a different note. Um, I was at this concert tonight. I just really want to share what's on my heart, and um, it really put a lot of things in perspective for me. Um, a few things in the past few weeks have been putting things into perspective for me, and I really have been evaluating my life and evaluating the way I spend my time and. Um, one of my friends put this quote on Facebook that said, um, think about the things that you uh, invest your time in on a daily basis and those are the things that are going to bear fruit in your life. And um, for those of you who are looking for a makeup video or a hair video, this one is not for you. And um, you know, if, that, if this is not what you want, you can go ahead and click the X. I, I don't have a problem. I respect that. But for someone who uh, may be lost in the road and you feel like you just don't you feel misplaced you don't know where you should be what you should be doing you don't know what is your purpose you just feel lost I just want to let you know that um, there is a reason for everything that we go through in life there is a reason for every season and you guys know that I'm a Christian and I just want to encourage you to um, trust and believe that God knows what he's doing with your life. God has a plan and he has a purpose for you. And you may be thinking that no one understands you and that no one knows what you're going through and no one can help you through your situations. And I was struggling with a lot lately and that is, that is exactly what I was saying. Even though I know it wasn't true, like I felt like because I was in a new environment that no one, um, no one in my environment can help me. And I just felt that's how I felt and then one by one people just they didn't know what I was going through just embraced me with a hug or um, a kind word or whatever and I began to realize that that's just a plan of the enemy the enemy tells you that no one cares the enemy tells you that no one will understand the enemy tells you that oh no one will be there for you but I can bet you that as sure as day comes before night there is someone in your life that cares about you there's someone in your life waiting you know what i think my problem was um i have such a hard exterior that no one thinks that anything is wrong with me and if you can identify you know people may think that maybe nothing is wrong with you or even if they want to approach you they don't know how to and I, I know I'm rambling and I'm going on and on, but I just, I felt like I should turn my camera on and really share because um, there, may re there may be someone who is going through exactly what I'm going through. You feel like you have so many things going on in your life. You have so much going wrong. Little is going right. You may not have a job. Like, whatever it is, whatever it is that hasn't worked out the way you planned. Our ways are not God's ways. Our plans are not God's plans. The word of God says that we make plans and God laughs because he knows all things perfect. He knows all things well. And I just want to let you know that regardless of what you're going through, there is always someone in your life that you can talk to. And if you don't know who it is, ask God to show you that person. And if there's not a physical person, he's always listening. He remains faithful to us in the times when we aren't faithful to him. And, um... If there's one thing that is certain, God is always there. The Word of God says that He is married to the backslider. I don't know what is it that you're going through. I don't know who it is that I would like. I was sitting there. I just heard. I just heard the Lord say, "Turn your camera on." I don't know who is it that I'm talking to, but I just want to tell you, don't give up. Don't give in. There is something at the end of this road that you're going through. There is some victory at the end of this road. And too often we give up at the brink of our miracle. And we give up in the times when God is really trying to birth a ministry out of us. Or he's really trying to birth strength and endurance and perseverance in us. And we give up and we flake out. But God told us not to faint. He never promised us that the road will be easy. He, he never promised a smooth path because he is trying to build, build character in us. And so whoever it is that I'm talking to tonight, it's like one o'clock in the morning, whoever it is, don't give up. 
I want you to remember where you came from. Remember what you did before that worked. Remember the times when you were on your knees praying, when nothing else mattered, when you just prayed and that worked. Remember those things that you did before and go back to them. God is calling you back to him. I know this is not my typical video. I've said that a thousand times already, but so, whoever it is, God is saying, come back to me. It is not too late, but come back before it's too late. All you have to do is confess to him. All you have to do is be real with him. Let him know what is going on, how you feel. Spend time in his presence. God is just waiting for us to make the first move. He just wants you to say something so that he can wrap you in his arms and give you the comfort that you so long desire. Whoever it is. I can say it because I've been there. I've been I've been in church and I've, there there were the times when I felt lonely even though there were there were a crowd of people around me. I felt helpless. I felt like no one understood me. But those were just whispers of the enemy. And I just want to tell you one more thing. Do not stop talking. When you get silent, that's when the enemy starts to win. Keep speaking your positive words, whatever you speak to encourage yourself, keep at it. And God will see you through whatever it is you're going through. God will see you through. He is waiting on you, like literally, he's waiting on you. All you have to do is make the first move and he'll do the rest. Goodbye guys.